Hey, my name's Thomas. This is unusual content for this channel, I realize. I've been working on this video game called Axe Ghost. Uh, just recently I've published a demo of it on Steam. And I'm just going to play it here, play the current build uh, and let you see what it's like and uh, yeah, just talk about it a bit. So, uh, it's a daily challenge based game. You play the part of this ghost who has to battle a horde of monsters and ultimately defeat the boss, the end boss. And depending on how well you do, you may or may not reach the top of the leaderboard. Okay, so in this, in this initial setup here, the monsters have advanced kind of halfway down the grid. And these are the cards I have to play. These first three cards have two icons each. I can play one of each of these icons. And these ones with this little toggle button, they can be played in different directions. I can choose. Up at the top you can see a kind of preview of what's going to happen. So for now, I'm going to move these ones over over to here. And I'm doing that to group up enemies of the same type so that they so that they form a contiguous uh group. And by doing that, I can destroy more of them in one turn later on. Uh I'm going to push these skulls over here. I'm using this one which pushes them as if they are individual elements rather than as one group. So when I push them across, they kind of break apart when one of them butts up against this devil here. The sensor bead is a new one that, I've, that I'm experimenting with, so I'll try it out now. When you use it on an enemy, it looks for adjacent empty squares on the same row and it's going to fill those up with the same kind of enemy. So by doing that, I've attached these two skulls to the same group here. This is a special card that ends the game, so I'm not going to play that now. Uh, you, the idea is you, you do that when you have no other choice, when the monsters are about to leave the bottom of the grid, because that's, that's game over. So I'll leave that there, and I'll end the turn to bring this next set up into play. Every turn the monsters take it one step further down downwards, so the object is to rearrange them and destroy them long enough to reach the battle with the, the end boss and then defeat him. This is the axe, a kind of a, a special weapon. This is most of the time this is the one you'll be using to to actually remove the monsters, so I destroy this set of skulls there because I want to push this group up to connect with this one. And with this push vertical one, what shall I do? Uh, for now I'm just going to push these devils up as well. I can see the centipede again, so I'm going to use that to join that these 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 up together and i'm going to move him over there as well i think this one switches the types of enemies so if i use it here what it does is it swaps all of the devils for the green ogres, and it swaps this green ogre for a devil, which is good because it connects these these ones over here with these ones over here. The monsters are almost at the bottom. This is not good. Uh, I'm going to remove the ogres first of all, and. I have to push these skulls upwards, I think. Yeah. And I'll connect these two. They're at the bottom.
button again. Let's see. If I swap them to make them all skulls, uh, it's not bad. I'll do that. Then I'm going to use this one, which pushes a an entire column upwards by one step, or downwards if you do it that way. But I want it to go upwards. I'll do that here to stop them beating me. I think that's as that's as good as I can do at the moment. Um, This one, this is called, I call this one uh, L push. It pushes twice, first horizontally and then vertically. So I'm going to push, um, what am I going to do? I'm going to push these ones into that hole over there. I think I have to destroy the skulls now. And what shall I do? Um, well, if I do that one instead, then I can join them all together like that. The way the scoring works is it helps to destroy many enemies in one in one attack, so with one attack with an X. Because each enemy that's destroyed in the same group is worth one more point than the previous one. So it goes one plus two plus three plus four, etc. So you you you're better off destroying many enemies in one turn than the same number of enemies over multiple turns. We'll group these up. Oh, I didn't need to do that today. And then I'm going to swap all these for devils to join all those up. And I don't know. I'll just join those there. I have a choice between using the centipede or the axe and I can see that there's no way of destroying them coming up so maybe I maybe I have to use the axe now but I'd prefer not to what I could do instead is I could push them all upwards and hope hope that it doesn't break the formation too badly. Let's try that. It's not great, but then I can join them back up like this. Mm. And then I'll just push this skull back up to the top. Garnemar is near, so this is the this is the end boss, and here it shows a kind of uh, a countdown of the turns until he appears. So the big group of devils is adjacent to several groups of skulls. So if I could swap all of the devils for skulls instead, I would be better off. So I think I can do that here. So I'll swap with this one because this just turns one skull into a devil. I think that's good for me. Um, I can't destroy them yet. You know 
I'm gonna freeze these. This is the ice uh, weapon. It freezes a group of enemies. They can't move for one turn. While the all the others can. So I hope that that will uh, help me out. So this one skull joined them here. I have the axe now, but I also have the moat weapon, and that destroys all enemies of a different type that are adjacent to the group that you target. And what's interesting about that sometimes is that it means you can kind of eliminate enemies that are getting in the way of joining to other groups. That doesn't help me much in this case. Let's see, is there a better play maybe? I could add a few more skulls by swapping these two. But I'm probably better off swapping all these skulls for ogres again. Um, and I want to just, I want to swap as few ogres as possible, so I think that's this one. There we go. If I push them all to the, to the right, it highlights the ones that are going to be actually influenced by that move. And I want to do that because I want to attach these two before I use the axe. So I'll do that. Okay. So when you destroy enough of the enemies on the screen all in one go, uh, the remaining enemies rout, they run away, and then they come back again, they advance halfway down the screen again. But as a reward for creating the rout, you get this uh, coin, and when you play the coin, it discards any cards that you have left and immediately moves the next hand into play. So usually you'd want to play all your cards, then use the coin, and then use uh, the next set of cards as well. It's like having a double turn. Um, let's see. Is that interesting? Not really. I'll join those up. Move that guy up there. This one shifts a whole row horizontally and enemies at the edges wrap around when you do this. So I don't like the way this devil is on his own on the end here and I can see there's some up there. So I'm going to push this whole row to the left. It's going to join these ogres up and it won't harm the connectivity of these either. So I'll do that. I'll push him. Oh, wait a sec. Which one do I want to preserve? The ice is often handy. But the switch is often even handier. I'm going to switch these guys. I'll push him up. Um, I'm going to join those with the centipede and I'm going to push these guys down instead of up to join them before I get this whole group. Same with these if I can. So this works on this whole group, but only this one's going to move, which is what I want to link them up there.
Ähm. Uh, maybe I should make them ogres. That works even better. If I do that a little bit, because then, oh no, <laughs> I messed that up. Let's see. Okay, here's Ganamar at the top. This is the end boss. If you defeat him, you've successfully uh, completed a run. He has a different mechanic uh, where you can't damage him unless he's surrounded on four sides by monsters of the same type. And right now he's not. In fact, this is just about the worst possible configuration he could be in. Let's see, if I push him to the left though, this whole row to the left, then we're better off because then he's almost surrounded by skulls. Um, what else can I do? these all over there to stack them up a bit. Mm. If I push him all the way to the top, no, that doesn't work so well. Push them over and then there is a poke vertical coming up, so if I push him over here, then the next turn I can push that column downwards and then he'll be surrounded. I'll try that, and I think I have to get these guys as well. Just before I do it, I'll... Wait, no. I'll swap them like this so I can get a few more. So if I push this column down, then he gets this exclamation mark indicating that he's vulnerable now. Um, all right, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, that's okay. If I do that, then I create a great big group of skeletons. That's good. I'll push him up. I've got the ax. Um, yeah. So the boss uh, takes several hits. You have to deplete his armor first, and then he takes one more hit after that. Each successful hit, he gets pushed back one square. What am I doing, actually? Um, you know what, I'll freeze this guy, so I'll give the reds a chance to surround him. Let's see, this is always handy. That's best. Yeah, this is pretty good. Because then I can push these guys upwards. And then he's almost surrounded. Not quite. Can I 
we get him now? Yeah, so if I push all these to the left, then the, this row here is gonna hem him in. I don't like that these ones are not gonna be connected anymore, so they're kind of dangling over here as their own group. You know what, I should just spawn another guy there instead. These ones just spawn the enemy of that type. And then I can get, give him another hit. All right. Um, yeah. Don't let me know. Push that skeleton up. Mm. I'm going to tuck him into that corner there. Because I didn't like him dangling out where he was. Um, maybe I should swap these to make all of those skulls. Should I? Or is it better to swap those? What's coming up? There is an ogre spawner coming up in the next turn, so I should probably try and surround him with ogres instead. In which case, um, yeah, maybe that's a good move. So, uh, I can shove all of those over to the to the right. That's not great. Because then I don't get to use this one. And I think I need him either here or here. Hmm. What happens if I push all these down? That's not great either, because the, then this column is right at the bottom. And about to... Uh, about to beat me. Okay, I'll do this. Yeah. Uh, I'll destroy those because they're getting too close. <clears throat> If I push them back again, uh, it's not quite far enough because this row of three will be just missing him. Okay, I'll do it like this instead. Then he's surrounded on three sides at least. And... And then what? Let's move those down. push him up one. Uh, can I then... You no, know, I can't. Okay. I'll clean this guys up a little at least. this and then freeze all those guys. That will 
frees him as well, because when he's surrounded, he acts like one of the monsters in some respects. He's down to one piece of armor. Um, what should I do though? You know what, I'm gonna just push him right the way up for now. And that will help surround him later. robot guy you can't kill those so you have to just keep pushing them back so I'd rather he not be there mm. okay shot at surrounding him with red somehow. Okay, I'll do that. And then I'll freeze this guy. Oh wait, <laughs> this is kind of a problem, isn't it? Okay, uh... Alright, I'll push these up instead. No, that's not great either. is risky. Let's see. Alright, there are three separate groups that are about to leave the bottom of the screen. This might be it. Let's find out. He's almost dead. If I could surround him this turn and hit him with the axe, then I would have won the run. I, <laughs> I don't think I can. Let's find out though. him there. Yeah, maybe that's it. I push him there, then push all of these reds upwards as individuals with this one, and then hit him with the axe. This was X Ghost in its current state, at least. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, if this is your kind of thing, then um, go to the Steam page, download the demo, uh, wishlist it to be informed when it gets released and when it goes on sale and that kind of stuff. Uh, and thanks for watching. I'll see you around.